Hello everybody and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. Okay, I have another taste test for you, but I'm by myself on this one. Aunt Bill didn't want to do it. She don't like marshmallows. And this is marshmallow. So, I have never tried this yet before. I've seen where several people have tried it on their videos and I seen this at Walmart the other day. And this is stuffed puffs stuffed puffs but it's classic milk chocolate marshmallows made with real milk chocolate and it's showing the marshmallow man or boy whatever you know how you make s'mores so you have your fire but your marshmallow already has chocolate in it so you just put your gram put it between two graham crackers after you toast it on the fire and that's another way to do s'mores but i'm gonna just try it like this so here we go. This is what it looks like. It's a normal looking, but it feels heavier. Like the side of it, it feels squishy like a normal marshmallow, but right in the middle, it's hard and firm filling. All right, let's see. Here we go. Too, too big of a bite. But that's the chocolate. <clears throat> I don't know. I hope these are good. I was expecting it to be what I mean, like, not went bad. It tastes good. Put it that way. So I like them. But I was expecting the inside middle part to be creamy and puddingy like and this is you can see a hunk of it fell out see how it's squishing it but it's good i like it mm. so i like them they're good I'll have to try it s'more style. Okay. I don't have nothing right here. Then. All right. I wanted to show y'all I've been busy. I haven't been able to get sorry, my nose is itching. I haven't been able to get in my craft room too much to do a lot of crafting. I mean, I sit in here and I watch videos, but I'm usually too tired and don't feel like doing any crafting. But I've done a little bit, so I wanted to show y'all. Now, yesterday, this is Monday, by the way. Yesterday was Sunday. So, we had Gracie Girl for a little while yesterday. Uh, because the past couple of weeks, our normal days to come is Tuesdays and Thursdays. But the past couple of weeks, and the reason I say couple of weeks, because one week she had to miss one of her days, coming to be with Granny. And then the next week after that, which was last week, she had to miss another day. So she didn't like that, and she couldn't handle it. And she had to come over on Sunday to be with Granny. So Paw Paw had went and went to uh, Home Depot and got another kit. They've been getting these kits, and he that's his project he always does with us. So they built that. And this time it's bookends. And when it's finished, it's going to look like that. Hang on, my nose is tickling. Oh, it's sneeze coming. <laughs> um, so they put it together. And then she had to paint. Well, she's got this part. This had stickers to put on it. So this is that part. And see the little sticking out part right there on the end? And then this one is the sticker she put on that. And it's on both sides, the sticker is. Okay, but the... We 
wood pieces. She painted green. This is them. So, and I know the light. They're probably dry. Get into that. I'll have to get that off. But anyway, this is the the wood piece sticking out. And so that's going to sit there. And here's this one. And it's got the hole right there. So the other one could go in. So that goes in there like that. And that has a hole. So that goes in there like that. And that'll be her bookends. And we'll put her books between it that she has here at Granny's in there on her table her toy table. So, I helped her paint that after her and Papa built that much of it. He helped her put the stickers on it and stuff. And let's see. I have, I probably showed y'all this. I finished one of my sister's dish scrubbies. I made the second one and added it to it. And I have started on another one. It's very slow going. Um, then let's see, I have been coloring. Let me move my board here. When I have little bits of time to be in here and feel like doing something, I've did a little more coloring on my folder that I um, am doing for my thing. I have been working on these. I have gotten finished inking them all. And now I am putting, let me sit y'all down and I'll show y'all putting pictures on them like this and then a little something on the back. These are the envelopes that has the papers that you can write on and these are gonna go in journals. So, you know, I have did that. I ain't gonna take the time to show you all of them, but I've done a, these and I'm not through. I still got a few more to put pictures and things on. I still have this many to put pictures on. So, still working on that. And I am doing swapping glues as I get them in and when I can, and then my own swapping glue in between them. And um, it's been a little while and I'm anxious and I want to get back to another swapping glue. I've got two ready mailed to go out, ready to be mailed out. Um, I've got to do my own swapping glue so it'll be between the last one that was sent to me and the next one that I got coming in. So I've got two, I'm expecting two more swapping glues to come in the mail. Um, and I've still got my pen pal letter laying up here uh, to work on. I haven't got to it and did any work on it yet. So that's where I'm at. So right now it's slow with crafting. I'm trying to get back into it. I want to do more, I want to do more, I want to do more. So I'm going to try to do more. <laughs> All right, y'all. I will let you go for this time. And I'll see you next time. I know my videos has been scarce lately. I haven't been able to put one up every day. I will try to get back into that too. But I've been busy. So, y'all just don't leave me. Stay with me, please. I'll be back. Alrighty, I will let you go, and we'll talk to y'all later in the next video. Bye-bye.